Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I love to tell facts. So today we are not going to look about any countries or world heritage sites in South America, but we're going to look about the famous and the inventors of of South America. Not the inventors of South America, but the inventors from South America. And next you all know it. This is the fifth episode of our South American series. Hallelujah! And now I'm just wearing my Harry Potter t-shirt and I'm happy to watch Harry Potter. But now that's not the case. And the case is, let's get into the video. And now this is the main part of the video. Guys, look here. So many inventors' names are unpronounceable. It is so, so hot. Gilosio Gurmona Camarina. It is so hot to pronounce. So, I'll just try my best to pronounce it for you guys. The first one is Color TV. So, guys, next time you guys are watching my video in your TV or a normal series, go to your mom or dad and just ask them if you guys had Color TV in your time. They will say no, because color TV hasn't been invented yet. Okay, color TV was invented in the 1930s and it got its patent in 1940. And Camerani, Camerana, I think, we, we can't pronounce his name correctly. He invented a color system, a visible color system that NASA, N-A-S-A, -A, NASA, used it to take photos and videos of Jupiter. Camarena had a really, really science fond, a fond in science from the age of seven. So that's what inspired him to create such a beautiful invention for this world. We just had to thank him really really big camarena belonged to mexico a lot of people call mexico latin america or center america but it's not both it is joined with south america so that's why he's in our series it's fact number two and the most important ballpoint pen. So guys, Biro, a B I R O, I think yes. He was an Argentinian and he was a journalist, come inventor. Biro invented an oil-based ink, filled it in a tube, and put a small, tiny ball underneath it. Then he closed it, the little little thing and wrote it. As the ball rolls, the ink smoothly came on the paper. And that's when the ballpoint pen is invented. You know it as a cheap ballpoint pen. And still in Argentina, Inventors Day is celebrated on his birthday, September the 29th. It's fact number three, photography. Yes, guys, I can't believe it, but still, Florence, a Brazilian, is considered as one of the pioneers of photography. He invented the dye transfer process. And there's not much records about Florence, but still, professional photographers use that method. And cell phones. Cell phones totally replace the process. It's fact number four, cartoons. It's loved by kids and even by me. Cartoon, cartoon. Walt Disney was Argentina a big time, a big time. Walt Disney really, really wanted Christini 
to work for him because Christine was a genius than Walt Disney that's the reason and and Christine made the world's first feature length cartoon i just don't know what the feature length animated cartoon mean but i just know the animated cartoon and the first of it poked fun of the argentinian president at that time Number five, world's first artificial heart. Doctor Limioto, I think, yes, invented the world's first artificial and the world's first artificial was planted in a human in 1969. Unbelievable process, and it still worked. The artificial heart kept him alive for three days until the real heart arrived. But still, he just died uh, shortly after. It's fine. And then the first step was made. So, guys, Argentinians have a lot of heart, and that's why Argentina gave to the world the first artificial heart. Yes. Number six, guys, semi-automatic rifles. Uh, so, guys. Let's get into some shooting. AK-47, 388A are all semi-automatic rifles. And they were invented by a Mexican called Mondragon Rifle. That is true. His name is... So, guys, I think it's, it's like a good invention. Because in the Mexican Revolution and... World War One soldiers don't have to like a uh, reload their rifles and then shoot like like that. It just takes a, a long time to uh, refill the gun, but still, it's not really a human friendly shooting people. Cannibalism is not a human friendly thing. It's fact number seven, guys. It is hot air balloon. I can't believe it, but still, it is true. A Brazilian, a Guzmo, I think its name is Guzmo, uh, Linhor de Guzmo. I can't spell anybody's name because it, names are too complicated, but now that's not important. He just invented hot air balloon, not invented, developed the hot air balloon in 1783 but before all of the they just used like paper bags and just fill them with hot air that it would just go up but now in 1783 he just invented a totally different way of lifting humans and then he just lifted a human 4.5 meters that's when a human flied like above the ground that is a recorded history we have it's fact number eight guys neotel artificial bubble it's just a common thing to put a baby in an incubator but who invented the incubator a peruvian named livano <clears throat> he just invented the neutral artificial bubble which just provides the baby with warmth and comfort in under two seconds and that incubator helped to save loads loads and loads of life today great inventions saving lives Act number nine liquid fuel for rockets yes guys Liquid fuels for rocket. When Portrait read a novel, A Earth to Moon, he was so inspired that he dedicated his whole life to science and space. So that's why he just built his own aircraft, a rocket to be exact, and then he invented a, a rocket liquid fuel that's a great invention 
Fact number 10. Electric brakes. Let's go. It was Victor Oka who was an inventor, a revolutionary and a great man. Because Oka invented a brake that just used magnetic attracts, attractions to slow down. And now this is placed on trains. Of course, many people have died from train accidents crashing into each other. So that's a good invention. At the end, there is a lot, lot of inventions that South America contributed to the world. So guys, go to Google, search up invention from uh, South America. You will see a lot. Please do that, guys. Please do that. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be you next time with another fact.